It's been a while since I did some kind of video. I, I have a couple of videos in the pipeline. Um, so, hopefully I'll get something up soon um, besides this. But I want to show you guys the... Um, this is the American DJ RFC remote. Um, and this is the American DJ Wi-Fi PAR QA5 user instructions. So basically, I we've gone through some changes throughout the ministry um, in terms of how we control our lighting. For the time being, we're controlling our lighting using the RFC remote. We're also using a master slave on the up lights, the PARs, as you can see here. Uh, so we got four of them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's kind of the situation... You've seen in one of the original videos that I made of the setup, we've had eight. But uh, through some trials and tribulations, we ended up losing about four of them. Um, and then the controller we had, the stage setter, just has been a pain and it's not been working out. Um, there's plenty of comments on my videos stressing this. I've already known this. It's a disagreement of different concepts and things like that, so it's not... It's not much I can do. But it forced me to go ahead and try to control our lighting in a different way. So I got this remote. And there's... American DJ has like two remotes currently. Um, and so this remote has a, like a list of compatible fixtures. And the Wi-Fi, most of the Wi-Fi PARs, at least some of the more original PARs, are on that computer compatibility list so you can use this with your pars and your bars pars and bars and i think a couple of other wi-fi products in there um so you want to make sure you get the right remote first of all um, but then it comes like literally in a box like not a box but like in a package by itself and so what you want to do is you want to check your user instructions on how to use the RFC. So this is using the RFC. This is the operation and each button on the remote. So, you know, for instance, this is your program button. So your program selection are just basically the macro button, the macro colors in the fixture, your flash button, your speed button, flash button, speed button, sound active. These are the color mixing uh, buttons. So you get your RGB W or A, depending on what fixture you have. Um, so they're not static colors. Like you're not going to get red if you press red or white if you press white. Our fixtures have amber, so that A means amber for us. For others, it might mean white. Your plus and minus changes the values depending on what mode you're in or whatever. Um, that's basically the connection here. So <clears throat> what you want to do to set up to set this up um, you choose your master so you're gonna you want to do you want to do master slave mode because what I found was um, with all of them for whatever reason all of the up lights independent uh, don't always respond to the signal from the remote you know what I mean so sometimes they'll be in an order of sequence but then one uplight might lag or one uplight might miss the signal and then you kind of end up with three colors being cyan and then one uplight being you know blue or something whatever order the macros are in uh so yeah i i recommend going in master slave mode so pick your master you know i'm not going to run through how to do master slave mode but Pick your master, get your slaves. My, my blackness is sort of offended by that, but whatever, it's it's lighting. Uh, and after you select your, your um, slaves and everything, go back to your master. Turn on, and it, it tells you in the book uh, how to do this. There's two ways of doing master slave mode. That's the kicker, because one master slave mode is if you do your um, lighting with... I think I don't miss, miss the darn thing. If you do lighting with cables, like DMX cables, you're going to want to use this version of Master Slave Setup. Okay? 
If you're doing master slave with Wi Fi, okay, if you're doing wireless master slave, this is how you do it, okay. Um, so the instructions are in here. I'm not going to get into all the details because you're not watching this specifically for the unit per se, but the instructions are in here. What I will say is, um, you do want to set them off on the units. I didn't, and it still works. Um, so I mean, it, it, I don't think it's a big, giant deal, but if, if you want to, just make sure you follow the directions. It was pretty easy to do. Um, but in order to set the Wi-Fi master slave up, you have to set up your Wi-Fi channels and address. So it's kind of like a three-step process. First, you have to get your Wi-Fi channel set. Then you need to do your master slave. Then you need to make sure that your at least the master has the RFC mode on. Okay. Um, so let me see if I can. Um, well, no, I, I I'll leave that alone. But that's kind of how it works. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you can use this basically using Wi-Fi. And in my experience, um, it has worked very well. It, it's not like it, um, how do I say this? The range is 150 feet. Um, the sanctuary, the limits to the farthest, as far as you can go, I would say is maybe about 200, 300 feet, maybe. I mean, uh, but I was still able to control the lighting from the balcony. Uh, so it it's it it you know it works, but that's kind of this you know if you have questions about how to use the remote with Wi-Fi, that's kind of how you should do it. I think go into master slave mode, and then you know control it with your RFC. Uh, Again, it's kind of conflicting because it says, you know, turn off your RFC before you even dive in. But my recommendation is Master Slave. Master Slave, Master Slave. And, of course, the remote can basically does everything that um, your uplights are capable of. Just about everything your uplights are capable of, the remote will do. You know, so this is a very cheap remote. I mean, it's 20 bucks. So a 20 buck remote versus, wow, 20 buck, $20 remote. And, you know, you can still bring out the full power of your fixtures. I think it's a pretty nice uh, setup. Not to mention, again, you can still do your wireless setup if you want to. And it still is on Wi-Fi. Um, so you, you're, you're still, it's kind of a weird thing. You kind of have three things going on. You have Master Slave, Wi-Fi, and RFC. And you're kind of, I don't know, from, from my limited experience with using all three at the same time, it's worked out, you know, so I can't say that it's going to be like a big wireless signal stumble, you know, people falling on top of one another. But it... I mean, you know, it, it seems like it worked pretty nicely. Um, there was no, there was a hiccup one time, but then I did some things. I don't know what I did, but I did something. <laughs> and it started working again, worked fine, so I don't know. Um, but we're using this remote, and I wanted to take this time to kind of make a plea here. Um, <clears throat> this ministry has, um, has been around since 2012. I've been doing lighting for this church since 2010. I'm the first person to ever really do any kind of form of lighting. So lighting is kind of an kind of infantry stage of um, of the church's history. I mean, the church itself is only 20 years old. No, whoop, 21 years old. So it's allowed to drink its actual communion, but. Um, you know, this ministry has been around for five, six of those years. Um, and so as we try to grow, one of the things I'm trying to get us involved in is, is better equipment that can actually work. Like I said, we're down to this remote. And I mean, it's a great remote and it's helped us in a downtime. 
but to have a controller that we can program and use for a lot of different things and a lot of extra flexibility that this remote can't provide um i would ask you to uh hit a particular link i'm probably going to put it on the screen um hit the link gofundme page okay and i'm basically asking for any donation that you're willing to give to help us um, improve our situation like i said we've lost some uplights due to malfunctions and other odd things um so the lighting system has really been stripped down compared to the original video that i put up um, and, and that video has been very successful um uh, and it's limited time on youtube so kind of just hoping that uh you know, even if you can't donate anything financially, donate your prayers, give your prayers to the ministry. And I, I'm I'm a strong believer of the power of prayer. There's a whole chapter dedicated in my book about that topic. Um, so yeah, I'm a believer in the power of prayer and what it can do. And so, um, you know, I'm not. It's, it's, once you hit the link and once you see what I'm asking for, you can see it's not really. You know, like I'm not asking for the moon and the stars here, okay? I'm just asking for a very basic, simple thing. Um, you know, our church is not able to, to go down this path, um, you know, and so I'm I'm kind of trying to be resourceful here. You know, it's, it's my responsibility to make sure the ministry has what, it's ne what it needs, so I got to do what I got to do. Um, so again, any kind of help spread the word you know anything would be appreciated um and uh thanks for watching um like i said i'm gonna have some more videos up you know hopefully soon in the near future i don't i don't know what the videos will consist of i think one video will go over some um handbook material that i know i haven't shown you the electrician's handbook i haven't shown you guys that so that's probably gonna go up soon as well um, I might even do an update of, of this. I might even show you guys a video of this in action, how to set this up. If you guys want to see that, you know, you can let me know in the comments or, uh, email or Facebook. I've been getting a lot of messages on there from, from people, but yeah, you can let me know if you want to see me actually set this up with the fixtures and how does that actually work in detail. I'm happy to do that. Um, so you know, a few videos on the horizon. There's a couple of surprise content as well. Um, I don't want to give that away yet. Uh, but, um, yeah, any help you can give is appreciated. Thank you for watching. I usually don't say this, but um, if you would like to, I would definitely like it if you subscribed. Um, because I'm going to try to be a little more active than I usually am on here um, with lighting in general. Um, it's basically becoming my lighting vlog, if you will. So I'm kind of starting to get into that habit. Um, so, you know, subscribe, see some videos, hopefully like once a week. And, uh, you know, keep shining.